Okay, I'm going to try to find some nicer ones in here. I'm not going to take you through the whole video because it might get it might get a little long to plant all these. But I'm going to get a couple of the nicer ones. Here's a really nice one ready to go. Uh, what I what you want to do when you propagate, I like to do 3 or 6 3 to 6 inches of a cutting, okay? Pull off them bottom uh, leaves. Now this is a real fleshy succulent vine. I uh, love it to death because it's variegated as you can see. Beautiful. But right here is where the roots will come out. Alright? So we're going to give that a little bit of rooting hormone. Just going to dip that in. Actually, I'm going to wet it first. It's going to do much better if I give it a little moisture so that it'll stick to it. Okay, there you go, you see? And then we'll just stick that in. I'll just dig a little hole here and set it right down in and then press the soil up against it, just like so. Okay, I'm gonna be doing that with all of these that I have here. And it's gonna take me a little time. You can kinda of watch me for a little bit and then I'm going to uh, probably shut the video off and finish and then we'll come back okay but again we'll pull them bottom leaves off as I did here okay a little section here I want to cut off and I can even already even see almost looks like a root right here already so that's a good start I could dip these in water. What I'll do is spray. What I'll do is spray the whole tray, and then it will be. They'll be ready and moist, wet, moist and ready to go. But just dip them in. As you can see, it's nice and coated. I'm probably. I'm going to try to do some with the hormone and some without, and I'm going to see which one does the best. Okay, it's always kind of fun. But here's a nice long one. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make two out of this one. But I'll just, just I'm gonna come right back and I'll show you uh, my trays and what I'm gonna do with my trays and um, how I'll prepare them and and uh, care for them while they're rooting. So I have them all put here in the trays. Some with rooted hormones, some without, some in sand, and some in the vermiculite and peat mixture. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see what what works the best for the variegated jade vine. Okay, once I got this done, I'm not gonna overwet them because they are a succulent. I'll just put the heat the dome lid on them and transfer them over to the heating mat. And that's pretty much it. That will complete the propagation of the variegated jade vine. Let me know if you've done any propagation at all and if you how successful it was for you. I'm actually just getting started into propagation the last couple years and I think it's a lot of fun to make more plants out of the plants you already have. So let me know how it's going for you, all right? Uh, one thing I wanna say before I end this video is B and C's are a succulent. Um, a lot of times I'll take the lid and leave it open just a little bit so there's some air circulation. Um, it seems to work out fine as long as you don't over wet your cuttings and um, I'm going to be showing you my progress as I go along and let you know if this worked or not. Okay because I know there's a lot of different methods out there that people do and um, you know, this is just something that I have done that has worked in the past, um, and hopefully it'll work for the jaded vine too. Everybody take care. This is Diane at the Pick a Fence Greenhouse and Gardens, and we'll see you on the next video. Okay, it's February 23rd, 2011, and I wanted to give you an update on the jade vine that 
I started from cuttings here a while back and we're just going to check them and see if there's any roots happening. Okay, yes. We got a root right there. And this is the one that's in sand. Put that back in there. I'm going to let it get a little more roots on it. Let's check another one. Oh, look at that, guys. Guys and gals, we got roots. Yay, it's working. Oh my, that's great. I'm going to check the one. Now let's go check the one over in the, put the lid back on. Let's check the one over in, in just the peat and perlite and see if any are rutting. Okay, the one I just showed you was the one that's on the heating mat and it's in sand. These here are not on a heating mat and are in a peat and vermiculite mixture. So let's see how these guys are rutting. All right, this one's got some roots. Got some roots right there. So that worked. It's working also in the peat. Look at that, guys. Guys and gals, look at the roots. They're there. So it's working in both situations where I am using heat on one and the other one does not have heat. One has peat and vermiculite and one has one has sand. I like the looks of the ones in the sand a little better than these, but there's a few here. Looks like they'll have to pull them out. They don't look so good, but it looks like there's going to be enough. This one looks like it's rooted too. It's a little hard to pull, so it's working. Each way works. Um, this one I do vent out a little bit because it uh, gets a little bit too damp with the uh, peat so it's a good thing to vent the lid plastic lid so all right that was just an update and letting you know how they're doing and it's working out